Okay, I'm going to go through page two now of the packet. So this is where we are going to find the area between two curves. And I mean two, the number two, not T-O, little typo there, number two. So for each problem, use a GDC to graph. So I've already plugged these equations into my graphing calculator right here I just used decimals instead and then I hit zoom six and there we go so we're gonna have to make a sketch of this so let's go back can you tell which one is which uh, the one that's negative is gonna be opening upside down so that's the blue one um, we're gonna want to show the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts so that's our first step is to make a sketch of this so label the x and y axes so that's going to be a y intercept up here and down here and then we had x x, x intercepts at two a negative two you might have to use uh second calc zero to find x intercepts if they're decimals but in this case they are all integers so whoops back to my sketch First one opens down, and then I should label that is y2, and then the second one opens up, and that is y1. Okay, so y1. And this is the region that we want to find the area of, so we're going to have to use an integral to find the area. So from here to here is the boundaries. So from negative two to positive two. And then we know we're gonna have to have dx here. So what goes inside of the integral is gonna have to be the difference of the two functions. And now the top one goes first and the bottom one goes second. That's how it always is. If you have any two functions, let's say one looked like this, and one looked like this, whichever function is on top, let's say this is y1 and this is y2, whichever function is on top, we find the difference. Um, okay, so then we have to write out, or we have to type this into our, our calculator now, from negative two to two, y1, so that's gonna be negative one half, x squared plus 2 and then we're going to subtract subtract this whole equation so minus 1 half x squared plus 2 with respect to x and then we could simplify it a little bit more and say well negative 1 half x squared minus 1 half x squared uh, that's minus 1 x squared because negative one half minus one half is positive is negative one, and then two plus two is four. So we could simplify it. However, we're going to type this all into our calculator anyway, so uh, you could do it either way. So I'm going to type in the simplified version because it's easier. So go to second quit and go to the home screen. Math nine opens up our integral from negative two to positive two. And then I'm going to do negative x squared plus 4 with respect to x. And this is going to spit out the area, 10 and 2 thirds. So this area is equal to 10. And let's just do 10.6 repeating. OK. Now you can try the rest. And um, if you get stuck or you want to know the answers, you can ask me.